Andy Katz here for the Big Ten Network with Mike Rhodes, the new head coach at Penn State. Uh, Mike, there's no question that you were the perfect fit for this job. From you got strong ties to Pennsylvania, you've had great success at VCU. And look, Michael Shrewsbury did a really good job in a short amount of time. But why did you think you fit so smoothly at Penn State? Well, I know this place uh, growing up not too far away, but. Uh, number one, top of the list was the alignment of from the president to the athletic director and and, and, and what they want to do with basketball. And uh, I felt that uh, as soon as I talked with them, uh, they, they want to win. They want to win big. Uh, they want it to be sustainable. And I was really, really excited about that. And to do that at Penn State and in the Big Ten, I mean, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, what they did this season was they had an identity. And – for decades, Penn State's been searching for that. They were able to make threes. You know, even last year with John Hare, they had a toughness about them. Um, you have been able to have an identity, a culture at VCU that worked, that was a top the A-10. How do you take that, what you were doing in Richmond at VCU, and immediately transfer it to Penn State? Well, number one, get good players. That always helps, right? So, but but I think you know you're exactly right. Build your identity with good players and a commitment to your, your style of play. And uh, you know, I just believe in there's a, you know, but playing free, playing with a green light, playing aggressively, and always having a blue collar mentality. Uh, a, a lot like Penn State in in so many things. I think that's really important. Uh, that all came together. Uh, but we're going to be very aggressive and 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 we're going to play fast. We're going to be bold about it, Andy. I, I think we need to. That That's sort of who I am and who we are. And I think that's a fun way to play. And when you work really hard and you're having fun, I think you really improve and, and you can do some special things. And look, like Mike, there's no secret that in the NCAA tournament, uh, which is obviously the Holy Grail, uh, that guards win. Guards that can score, that can get to the basket, that can make things happen. You had a player like that in Ace Baldwin. You had great success in the A-10. How do you make sure that Penn State has a player like that right from the start? Yeah, you got to go get good players. You got to go find players that can make plays. And, you know, sometimes you, as a coach, you have a really good player. You got to let them loose. And because their instincts take over when an athlete, uh, their instincts take over, that's when they're at their best and they're free and they play with a, a, a mentality of aggression. I want guys like that all the time. Uh, the great thing is that's how we're going to be here. So when, when guys look at Penn state now, they're going to say that, you know, guards are going to be, are going to be allowed to go look, get loose and, and go play and, and be instinctive and, that's a fun way to play, and I've always been like that. I, I think you want aggressive guards that make everybody around them better uh, and make plays for them and for themselves and their teammates, but they got to be all about winning, and, uh, you know, that those are the type of guys we want at Penn State. You know, the other thing, Mike, in terms of dealing with a conference, uh, it wasn't the norm for the A-10 to be a one-bid league. That's what happened this season. You guys got it. Uh, but in the Big Ten, you have to sort of accept that you're probably going to take some losses, but you can still get in the NCAA tournament. You can finish seventh or eighth with, you know, 10 losses maybe and still get in. How do you adjust, you know, your thinking that every game is not the end all and the pressure of making the tournament doesn't, you know, isn't determined by one single game? I'm going to have to learn that, Andy, for sure. Uh, I, that's uh Sometimes you got to learn through going through it, and I think I'm gonna. Uh, that's the learning curve I, I'm. I have to accept. Um, and now I have some some vets on my staff too that have been through it, uh, so they could help me with that. So yeah, uh, I I know that honestly, and that was that was another reason why I thought this was just so appealing, and that the right time for me was the changing of of the landscape of college basketball, and uh, being in a, a Power Five conference like the Big Ten is. It's enticing, and but you're right. I'm to to go through a a, the, a league like the Big Ten. You're going to have to learn a lot of things, and and uh, I'm ready for it. All right. Last thing is roster management. Um, there was a great core of freshmen and sophomores on this past season's team. Obviously, some guys had exhausted their eligibility. Where do we stand? I know it's day one for you, but where do you stand on where what the roster looks like? Yeah, number one. It, 
there are there are there are guys here, so we're going to spend time with them. And and the way the only way you build a relationship, Andy, is by spending time with them and building trust. To create trust, it takes time, it takes communication. That's our, our job as a coaching staff. Uh, these players are here finishing their classes, working on their game, getting bigger and stronger in the off season. Our job is to build a great relationship with them, uh, so they see and understand uh, what what we're all about. Uh, I, I, these guys can play. Uh, they, they, you know, they got a taste of what it's all about. So they're, they're guys we, we we want here in the program to help us take this to where we want to go. And then we're going to go out there and get players. We got to get some dudes, like everyone says. And and uh, that's that's what you do when you take over a program. Now, especially now, you, you know you have to jump right into recruiting and be very aggressive with it. And that's what we'll do. All right. Well, I know this off is going to be really busy for you. It's a transition moving up from Richmond to State College. Uh, love that you're in the Big Ten. Appreciate it. I know we're going to talk quite a bit. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate it.